One of the advantages of this approach is... Dave Beebe is a biomedical engineer. Hello. Hello. Mark Burkhart is a medical oncologist. Hi. Not that long ago, they and their research teams worked in different buildings on different parts of the UW campus. Today, thanks to the Wisconsin Institutes for Medical Research, their teams are working together to fight cancer. Now they're in the same building on the same floor, separated by a few feet instead of a few miles. You know, in today's world, people think you don't have to be next to one another <laughs> anymore. You can just call them up or video chat, and, and that's true. But until you develop a personal relationship with someone, you really don't have a productive collaboration. It's faster, it's easier to get that input from other people. And if you're having problems with an experiment or other challenges, you have people that you can go to. Well, it's awesome because uh, working in the Wimmer, there's just, you know, we're a bunch of engineers that are surrounded by doctors. So if you have any sort of biology question, you know, you can approach these doctors and generally they're more than willing to help us out and kind of, you know, show us the ropes when it comes to the cancer biology. That really does speed up the process because it prevents us from spending six months going down the wrong path because we're, we have this continual feedback loop from the clinicians and the biologists. What are these clinicians and engineers collaborating on? One of their projects is identifying and studying circulation tumor cells, cells that detach from the primary tumor and circulate it in the bloodstream and grow more tumors. Most people understand the primary tumor is usually not what kills the patients, it's the metastatic sites. Yet we know very little about why tumor cells leave the primary tumor. These circulating tumor cells occur in about one in a billion cells. Beebe's team has found a way to capture these cells, keep them alive, and study them. And we can now mix them with other cell types, bone cells, for example, and study how the circulating tumor cells communicate with bone cells. And if we can understand those mechanisms, then one can think about developing targeted therapies to actually disrupt that communication and stop the CTCs from going to bone. Have you changed your medications? What can that mean for the breast cancer patients Dr. Burkhardt sees in his clinic? A potentially more efficient, and safer way to find out if targeted treatments work. The problem has been how do we know we're actually affecting that gene or, or enzyme in an actual cancer cell. And the only way to do that typically is give the treatment and get the biopsy. But with uh, Dave's technique, what we think we could do is give the treatment, get a blood sample, collect those tumor samples, and then analyze what's happened to the drug targets. So it's a way of addressing this in a rapid and safe manner and allows us to do this at multiple time points. It's easier to, to say, let's get a blood draw exactly 24 hours than to say, let's get a biopsy of the liver, the bone, at a certain time point. And because Wimmer is right next door to the Carbone Comprehensive Cancer Center, researchers can get that blood in a matter of minutes after it's drawn. In the case of a lot of our work, we need to process the sample right away. In terms of Dave's project, when he was in the engineering school, it was impossible to get him a blood sample from a patient. So in terms of the... BB's and Burkhardt's teams meet formally every few weeks, but informal sessions are encouraged and happen frequently. So far, this model has been a huge success. One of the comments I hear repeatedly is that they understand why they're doing what they're doing now. A really motivating factor of all the work that we do here is that we are actually starting to interact with clinicians and patients and, and thinking about ways to actually impact their care. A lot of patients don't know the details of what goes on here, but they do understand that we are working to make their outcomes better. <laughs>